And what can I do for you today, sir? Waxed mullet, please. Oh, impeccable taste as usual. Mm. Uh, oh! Oh, uh, nits! What? I'm afraid, sir, you have head lice. I'm, I'm not going to be able to deal with you today. You're joking. How embarrassing. But what a head lice really look like, up close, under the microscope. And when I say close, I mean at 200 times magnification. It's reckoned that as many as 3 million people per year in the UK suffer louse infestation. And contrary to popular belief, the little devils are not attracted to particularly clean or dirty hair. Anything will do. I really don't like them. I don't mind bed mites, you know, dust mites living in your bed, but they live on you. There are about 400 different species of head lice, and fully grown, they can range from a teeny 0.3 of a millimetre to a mammoth 11 millimetres in length. You know, they feed on the blood from your scalp. Yeah, it's disgusting. But apparently, without it, they don't live long. They won't survive. And they can't jump, hop, fly, swim, any of those things. Mm. So the only way to transfer from head to head is by direct contact. That's why kids get them, isn't it? Yeah. They use those claws to hang on to your hair. Lice are incredibly difficult to remove. They can shut down their breathing holes to avoid drowning in the shower and are becoming ever more tolerant of insecticide shampoos. Covering your head in castor oil or mayonnaise to remove lice are just urban myths. The best way to get rid of these little bloodsuckers is by two weeks of regular attacks with a fine-tooth comb. 